Thomas, Scottish Boxing News here with the victorious Barry McCrory. Yep. How was that? Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, a buzz, first fight, first win, and just now I enjoyed it every moment. Yeah, prepared hard, so I knew I was going to get in there and cruise, mm -hmm. cruise it out. Yeah, yeah. against the quite a he was, tricky and elusive opponent. Yeah, he, he kind of. I knew. I watched video footage of him, of him fighting like Ben Smith, like good names, good good prospects. Uh, obviously, they've, got, they've already had six and seven fights, so I knew he had experience and he was going to be slick, but. I just kind of tried to, I could, I could have been pressured on more, but I was just enjoying it. I, was, I knew I was getting my shots off, I knew when I was landing the body, I was hurting them, so I thought, you know what, just enjoy it, don't, don't chase it, because I could end up ruining my work. So. Yeah. But yeah, I really enjoyed it, amazing, amazing. Um, he, he said to you afterwards as well that you work in the body well. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. That from someone I, I, who goes in with a lot of experience. People. Yeah, I think I hurt him in the fourth and I, I felt him wincing and shuddering away, but he managed to get his feet were so quick, so he managed to get away once I started hunting him down again. But yeah, it was good. Yeah, I enjoyed it definitely. How did you find sort of the whole occasion? Yeah, I've, obviously I've had loads of fights, kickboxing, and I've done the odd other like, charity events and things like that. And to be honest, with you, I don't get nervous until I actually step in the ring. All my, my team were always like. You're right, you're right, and I'm like, ah, it doesn't bother me until I'm actually in there, you know yeah. what I mean? So, but yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. The whole event's brilliant, really. Obviously, my first pro fight and getting all the lights and the smoke and all the glitz and the glam, it's, it's something else. It's really, it's, it's up, up a step again for like yeah. the kickboxing days I've done and things like that. So, yeah, it's amazing, amazing. Is it when the music sort of kicks in that you're yeah, sort of like, yeah, you Yeah, you've, is, you've always got your ring tune <laughs> like, months before you know you're fighting, you're like, that's my next song, you know what I mean? It gets you buzzing when you get in. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, how did you feel you sort of performed? Yeah, I felt good. A couple of things I can take away from it. I know I wasn't, I didn't think I could have been, oh, sorry, I thought I could have been busier, but at the same time, I knew I was still catching them enough to win the rounds. Um, just wee silly things, and again it's my first fight, you know, it's, it, there's things that you're going to take away from your first 20 or 30, you know what I mean, it's not until you're in, up in at British level and things like that, you're going to start saying, that needs to be perfect, you know what I mean, you can go out there and you can afford to have wee mishaps here and there, you know what I mean, like, but again, it's just all a learning experience, you know what I mean, I'm, first four or five fights, we've got learning experiences and getting the rounds in, and, again, I, I've known boxed for, for years, you know what I mean, yeah. it's been kickboxing and I always like, put loads of weight on, and, Take it back off again, so yeah. I've had the ups and downs. But yeah, I really, I'm, I'm happy with what I've done, and I know there's things that I can work on. But again, that's back in the gym yeah. next week. <laughs> yeah, if you don't mind me touching on that, obviously your story is slightly different from other people. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Um, um, just talk us through, sort of. Yeah, well, I boxed when I was younger, um, nine, nine years old, maybe up to 16, 17, um, with, with Cleland amateur boxing, and um, I passed my test and things started working and. I went to kickboxing about 19 and I boxed for 19, about 22 or something again. I did good kickboxing fights, fought Michael Page, the guy that signed to Haymaker. Um, I've been all over the world with kickboxing and then I just left that and I had a good job at the time and everything kind of I went up in the air and I lost the job and I just started eating in the house and I wasn't working and I just blew up to, to I was 24 stone at the biggest and as you can see I'm only like 5 foot 6 or 5 foot 7, I'm tiny. Um, and I just did, like I was really depressed and just couldn't. I just it was a job and I lost a job, but just I couldn't deal with it. If you know what I mean. Um, and then I just woke up one day and I thought, you know what? I'm, I'm 25 stone. I'm I'm a young guy. I need to do something with this. And I started walking and I started running. Done a half marathon and then I started going to boxing gym again. And everybody's like, you should you should give this a go again. You're you're too talented not to do it. And I just started. I done a couple of charity events and things like that. And, started a couple of kickboxing fights again and my weight just drifted all the way down. But I have fought from, believe it or not, I won a Scottish title, two Scottish titles at uh, 90 kilo and 85 kilo. I'm 64 today. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's crazy. Um, but no, I just, as it's been a hard journey and a lot of people, a lot of people think, probably thought I couldn't do it tonight and see just going out there and doing that. But through the board, everything's professional, correct, right. I just feel amazing for doing it, you know what I mean? And, it's just gave me a buzz for the next one. I just, yeah. I'm just starting to get in there. And again, I say next year I'm, I want to get as many fights under the, under my belt as I can and start chasing titles and things like that. You know what I mean? I would like to drop down to super feather. Um, I think I can make it easy. I made today's weigh in a scoosh. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I probably I was walking about this weight last week probably. So, um, but yeah, it's been a, it's been a tough old slog going for 25 to yeah. 10 to 2 the day it was. Yeah. <laughs> so um, does it sort of sort of at the end of the road for you, just like that you've got to this point after that being at that weight that just it's, makes you sort of proud or? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm super happy, super proud of what I've achieved to, to get to this stage and 
to get into professional boxing and do what I've just done, coming like coming from like a very very little experience compared to some of the guys that are in there, like some of the amateurs of hundreds and hundreds of fights, sixties and seventies. I was I was an amateur at about thirty. So and then kickboxing is totally different. I had to change my whole style. Um, Eddie Butcher's my, my my head coach and he just he settled my feet right there. And I used to try and box like a kickboxer and I was never settled on uh, my feet. I think I think something the big difference obviously with the the stance of the, the yeah, footwork you're much wider. Yeah, much um, wider footwork. Yeah, settled near shots, landing, sinking the shots in. Whereas kickboxers, their hands are really really fast and pity patty and. Even I've been sparring, I've been sparring Ricky Burns and I've been sparring like really good guy, Ian Butcher, who's Eddie's brother, who's yeah. obviously amazing. Um, good guys, and I've never like sparred the guys that hit as hard, especially Ricky, man. Ricky can. I'm going to say, not many, not many people giving up for their debut have sparred uh, yeah, three times. He's, three he's, he's, <laughs> a, good, he's a really, really good friend of mine, and he's helped me out so much for this. You know, he's he doesn't need to spar me. People probably get paid to spar Ricky, and he's given me time out of his day and rounds upon rounds. And I just I couldn't I couldn't thank him any more than what I, what, I, what I can you know what I mean there's nothing I can do but um, yeah the difference I felt in stepping up is the power of people everybody in sparring and even just tonight like, the power's totally different um, but again I've been getting used to it over the last twelve weeks to get myself ready for this was that a big thing so sort of, was sparring with Ricky sort of the first time and then sort of onwards or? first time I sparred him I thought to myself this is like a square go in the street because <laughs> <laughs> he's he's right there it doesn't he, doesn't he ease up if you hit me something he's right in front of you again. And I'm, I'm no kidding. I've never felt. I felt people with power and like, like a certain shot, and you know, like that guy's at your left hook. Every shot Ricky throws has got power in it. Uh, you're just like boom, boom. You're like, oh, no. <laughs> but no, it did, it, it did help me. Um, it helped my engine because when I was going to spar with other guys, the, the pace that Ricky sets is unreal. He's just, as I said, he's just constantly in front of you. So when I was going to spar with other guys, I was, I was getting my work off more, and I was feeling. I was like, I've got to be breathing here. I can relax. And but yeah, it's good. As I, I know a lot of people get to spar with him, he's, he's a close friend, so yeah. he's, he would tell me. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, yeah. Um, you sort of touched on it earlier, but um, what was sort of the, the was there a tipping point where you were like, I need to change this? Was there something that sparked it at all, or no, was I it just? just, I, uh, just I, I don't know. I was just like, um, I just moved into my own house and things like that, and I was just waking up and, and I'm like, what am I doing? I was just, I was just waking. I, I wasn't working, like I said, and obviously everything was getting on top of me, like having to pay bills, blah blah blah. And, I just woke up one day and I was like, I need to do something about this. And I just flipped my whole life round about. Like, I guess I said, I started walking. Um, and I dropped a few stone with just long walks. And then I started running and somebody's like, oh, you want to do a half marathon? And I was like, I'll give it a go. Because I started running. And then I, I breezed that and then started hitting bags and things. And people were like, why are you, why are you not fighting it? You should <laughs> fight. And I'm like, no, OK, I'll give it a go again. And then just kind of a snowball to there. You know what I mean? Kickboxing fights, charity events, things like that. And, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to apply for my licence and give it a go. I went and spoke to Sam. Sam's been great. Sam helped me through it all. Like, got me through everything. Um, got me here. So I couldn't thank him enough as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just looking forward to getting it and doing it again. <laughs> as soon as possible. Um, what's, what's the next plan for you? When I'm you, when not you're sure. Sam's got to try and get me out before the year's out. Um, get me another, I, I want to be active. You know what I mean? I don't want to sit back and sit in the house. and no, Because I, I like to have something to train towards. Whether it be a fight or a half marathon or something I'm doing involving like a hard day <laughs> yeah. or night, um, but yeah, I, I'll get out before the end of the year. If not, early next year. Yeah. But the plan is to get out as quick as possible. What sort of the ideal end goal for yourself? Where would you say at the end of your career and you'd be like, I don't oh, know. I just want to take it one fight at a time. Um, I would like to challenge for a belt. I'd love to win a belt, um, but again, I just I can't say. I'm going to fight for a Scottish title. I want to get in, um, win every fight I can until somebody says, right, you've got a shot now, you know what I mean? I'm not I'm no want to try and sneak a shot off MD or steal a fight off MD. I just want to be win my fights to get to that point and know I've earned it, you know what I mean? So I want to earn, earn my keep. And I've, got, I've still got loads to learn in their fight, you know, got, this is my first fight, so yeah. I can't say I'm going to do this and do that. Just now. I want to just take every fight as it comes and just win. <laughs> we'll win, that's all I want to do. Stuff. Um, it's Big shout out for sponsors. Yeah, yeah, I've got yourself. loads of sponsors. Sorry, but I've got uh, Go for so Floors. So give them all a shout. Out, yeah, Go for Floors and Wishaw. I've got MXN Boxing Gear, who's been a massive help supplying my gloves. The Woodhouse Pizza Place in Wishaw, uh, and Midas Scotland, and its properties. And I've got Fatality uh, Personal Training. So and everybody, each and every one of them, have got their own big massive part, like helping with medical bills, gloves, 
gear, I need sparring gear, personal training, you know what I mean, strength conditioning. So, yeah, I thank, I thank each and every one of them massively. Good to have the wish of crap behind you tonight. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, I could, I could do a wee bit more support. I think next time we'll try and sell some more tickets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I had a good crowd, good crowd, yeah, good crowd. Good stuff. Um, well, listen, congratulations on your, your winning debut and uh, hopefully more to come. Yeah, but thanks yeah, for chatting no to problem. us. Thanks very much.